Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our weekly angelic message for the week beginning October 4th, 2021. If you want to get a personal reading, please head over to angelsouls444.com. Yes, I'm doing Akashic Records readings. We are doing so many of them now and it is amazing. Some of the weird stuff that comes up. <laughs> so get on over there and check it out. And of course, I have the Archangel seven day meditation challenges and a lot of other content over at gumroad.com slash angel souls. Quick update on the Archangel Gabriel seven day meditation challenge. Last couple of weeks have just gotten away from me. Um, it's been nonstop <laughs> and I didn't want to sit and do this meditation challenge, you know, being distracted. So hopefully I've got enough out of the way that I can record and edit and get that loaded this weekend. Having said that, please make sure that you are subscribed. And when you subscribe, hit the notification bell. That's how you're gonna know when things are popping up. And the more you tune into this content, the more it will show up in your feed and it'll be suggested and you don't have to go hunting for the videos. So for this week, we have this lovely message that our guides are really going to be coming in. We're not alone, we're being helped but we need to be open. We need to pull our weight so that these messages can get through. Now, this might be light beings. It could be angels, archangels, animal messengers. If you guys follow me on my social media platforms, I came across a lynx on my hike, a lynx. And that was just amazing. And of course, I went and looked up what the symbolism is around that. And I was like, yeah, yeah, that, that seems pretty accurate. But it was amazing. Once I was out of the situation, then it was amazing. <laughs> but like in the moment, I was like, whoa, what's going on? But be aware of that. Now, this isn't so that you feel special or so that this is entertainment. No, we can't be treating our spiritual selves like that. We're on a path of remembering. And the more responsible we are with ourselves and with others, and we're doing the work. The work is not sunshine and rainbows, people. Okay, no, it can be tough. You might feel down. That's why it is absolutely awful and probably a sign of a sociopath. I'm not being hyperbolic when I say probably a sign of a sociopath or maybe a narcissist if they're trying to force positivity on you. It's an act. Watch it. Wake up. Be aware. Okay. And people who get defensive about that, it's because they act like that. Or they're defensive about it because they're enablers and, and they think it's normal. We're in a society that has normalized that kind of behavior so much that if you step back and say, hey, something's up here, like, why do we think that way? Why do we just turn away when something's going on? You know, why don't we help our fellow human beings a little bit more in a non-pretentious way, right? We're having to film your good deeds. Why aren't we doing that? Then you're the weirdo because you're speaking up, right? So those are all the things that we need to be made aware of about ourselves and being more conscientious about the earth, of course, animals, and, you know, just making sure that we are thinking of others as well as ourselves and getting out of this self-centric dynamic, all right? And that might mean something very simple. If you share walls, People can hear you, okay? Maybe don't stomp across the floor. I'm not stomping. Yeah, well, if you're in an apartment, you shouldn't do the heel toe kind of walk across your floor, okay? That's going boom, 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 boom for your neighbor. Think about it. I'm not gonna tiptoe around my apartment. Well, there you go. There's that self-centric thing. Your life and the way you live your life shouldn't interfere with somebody else's free will. So those are all the things that we are being asked to be more aware of. And when we do this, take that precious moment when you are first waking up in the morning to just breathe, allow light in, and wait and see which one of your messengers, which one of your guides or angels wants to come in and, and let you know something. And do not twist the message. Don't just twist it so that it sounds like something romantic. I have to tell you, this is not the time to be listening to people who want to pull you down the path of like, the ever romantic story or that there's some soul contract or something, you know, just be careful. Just be careful. So many of those types of readings get people stuck. It gets people stuck in a very, very awful situation. So let's get some cards here. I'm going to use the Moonology deck and then I have this crystal deck here, which I don't use on camera. I love this deck, but I don't use it on camera because all you can see is the crystal. You can't see the word, 
but that's fine. I think you get the idea, right? <laughs> what do we have here? First card out. <laughs> Bring love into the situation. New moon in Aquarius. So again, be be kinder to one another. And if you do feel like you're getting into a space, this is the other thing where we have a distorted sense of self-love. It becomes very ego-centered because... I don't know. There's like this desperation, okay, to get with somebody because of how it makes you look. That is not me overstating that. That is not hyperbolic. There are people out there who think that there's something wrong with you if you are single or they're staying in a bad relationship or, you know what I'm saying? Like we have to start getting better at understanding what real love is. Real love is not somebody coming up and being charming. Real love is not love bombing. How many times have you been in a relationship and it started out great and then it went bad? Or how many people come in because they feel a spark, but that spark is really pain. It's really pain. It's a pain that is deeply embedded in you that you're just used to. And so whoever comes along and maybe they seem dangerous or interesting or we have a soulmate connection, it's pain. No, it's not. It's love. No, it's a charge. I was telling somebody this. Use this as a test in your own mind. Let me just put the deck down over here. Use this as a test in your own mind. If you were with someone and you were out in public and let's say you tripped and fell flat on your face, take a moment to really think about what your partner would do. Now, would your partner first run and make sure you're all right? And if you two have a similar sense of humor, do you laugh it off together? Or does your partner try to hurry up and scoop you up and they're looking around to see who saw that because they're more embarrassed than you are? Because they see you as a mere accessory to their life. Do you feel like you have to go through life looking a certain way because you may lose your partner? That's not love. And unfortunately, that's a dynamic that a lot of people are in. So if you're out there and you're single and you're like, no, I'm aware of it. It just seems like I can't talk about it because if I do, uh, the collective, and there's another term I want to use, but it has a bad word in it. So the collective mind blank that is going on has gotten into people so much that we just go along with that story. We just go along with that dynamic and say, no, that's just how it is. Or you justify your partner's bad behaviors. That's just how he is. That's just how she is. I knew somebody who was in a very rough situation. And it was a man uh, who was the healthy one. And, well, he, he was like the one that was kind of getting pulled in by the woman. And I don't know what her deal was, but it was wacky. I mean, it was ugh, something, something off about that. But he would say all the time, you know, I, I realize that she's toxic and I realize she has these traits, but I just know that it's based in pain. And if I can help another human being not feel pain just by being there, I don't mind putting up with her. That is something that especially empathic or highly sensitive people need to start waking up to. Everybody is responsible for their own healing. And a better way, perhaps, <laughs> to use your energy is to pray for the kids and to send love to all the children, and including the inner child for adults, so that perhaps we can change this and change how this goes. Okay. Then we have balanced spirituality and practicality, full moon and Pisces. So again, this idea of just doing spirituality because it's entertaining for you, or it's like treating it like it's stress relief. Really, this is where mainstream is <laughs> I feel so most people are like okay well I'll meditate because it'll make me more productive in my job I'll meditate because it'll help me just feel happy and wanting to be happy I mean yeah that's the gig okay <laughs> get on out there and do it but are you getting there in an honest way are you getting there in a way that is not sidestepping okay so we got to balance that Sandalfin Archangel Sandalfin is perfect to work with in this way all right Confidence is your key to success, new moon in Leo. But this is true confidence. 
This is true confidence. Yeah, the ego has gotten way out of control. And yeah, I just want to feel this out here for a second. Presentation. People are so uh, worried about what they look like because they're afraid they're not going to fit in, that they're going to be shoved out of society or something. I'm putting this in very like grandiose terms here, but you know, confidence is not having to prove yourself and not just saying I'm great and that's all there is to it, but realizing I'm human. There are great things about me and there are things I'm working on. Wisdom is something that when it comes through you, you don't really need to talk about it. Okay. Emotions are running high super moon. So this is where we need to stay steady. This is why we all need to be working on our stuff. And remember, I, I tell all of my clients this, you're not just a spiritual being. You're a spiritual being in a human body with a brain. You have psychology going on here. Okay. And I am not qualified to help you with that. <laughs> you have to get with an expert, but, um, we're going to be seeing a lot happening this month. Okay. And, and just take it as a given. Okay. Expect the unexpected. There's going to be something around every corner. Now, if you're going to sit there and say, oh my gosh, I can't, I can't, I can't. Don't lower your frequency in that way. Be working on your stuff. Be working on releasing that pain. And of course, I do want to mention that October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So my absolute love and prayers for everybody out there who is a survivor or you're experiencing this right now, and especially to all the beautiful souls who are on the other side having completed their soul contract. So my love to all of you and to your loved ones. All right, let's get this crystal card here. Moonstone, live your purpose. Here's the thing. People get this idea, and I've done this too, like that our purpose is our career. That is not it. It's who you love and how you allow yourselves to be loved. And right now on a societal level, and Moonstone is emotions, even emotionally, how we raise our kids, how we treat our family members, you know, coworkers, you know, backbiting and and what have you, what this is saying is right now we are failing at that. We are not doing enough for one another in a balanced, harmonious way, right? So this isn't so that you go in there and try to save everybody. Remember the example I gave where the guy was going to stay in the relationship because he thought he was relieving her pain, even though it was causing a drain on him. This is what we're talking about here. We need to be balanced in how we treat one another, how we connect with one another. And purpose is also going through experiences and, and learning from them, obviously, right? And yet we live our lives trying to avoid the experiences. Why? How is that serving us, <laughs> right? So no more avoidance. Let's look at the hard stuff. Of course, make sure you have proper support and we need to clear that away so that we can be healthier in how we relate to one another and therefore what we are bringing out into the world, all right? So we're gonna leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.